Jake Andrews here, Blues Rock Guitar Lessons. Today I wanted to do a lesson on one of my favorite fabulous Thunderbird songs, Wait on Time. Now this is the first song off the first album, 1979, and it's a great up-tempo shuffle. And the T-Birds from right here in Austin, Texas, one of the greatest blues and rock and roll bands of the era that came out of Austin. And of course, Kim Wilson on vocals, Keith Ferguson on bass, Mike Buck on drums, and the great Jimmy Vaughn on guitar. So this song and this album, of course, really gives an idea of what Jimmy's playing style was like back then because it's evolved to be pretty different now. But I like to call back then when Jimmy was still using a pick. Okay, so y'all come in here close and let's learn this mother. Okay, everybody, so we are in the key of B, up here at the seventh fret in our first position of the pentatonic. And we are gonna go into the second position just a little bit on the first two strings. That's it, that's really the whole song, okay? Now, first off, let's talk rhythm. We are using ninth chords for the whole song, okay? So one, four, five blues, and that's it. Whole song, 12 bars. So ninth chords, for our one chord, which is B, we're gonna be using this shape. A lot of people call this the Stormy Monday chord. Because it is. Now, if you're not familiar with this chord, notice that I am playing on the back side of my first position, whatever key I'm in. Uh, my first finger's here, ring, middle, pinky. And you can kind of remember it because it, it looks like an open D chord shape with our pinky here. And we're just strumming these four strings here. Now the thing about this chord, we're not actually playing the root note. Here's our root note right here. The root's really just implied. But we have the seven, and we have the nine in here. And so that's a very important chord for blues. So we're gonna use that for the one, for our main chord. Now for the four, 
we're going to use this other ninth chord shape. Okay, so this is going to be E9. Uh, middle fingers on the root here first, and ring finger is going to be laid flat across the top three strings. It's just all kind of collapsed there. Uh, you see, I'm kind of angled on it here. Now, this is um, one of our other most important blues chords, and it's also the James Brown chord. <laughs> Okay, so that's a very important chord shape. We're going to be using this for the four and for the five. And then there's our one. Perfect. Okay, now as far as phrasing timing of the rhythm, uh, we're really doing these, these hits, these pushes on the rhythm. Let, check this out. One, two, three, four. Uh. Yeah. Say what? Let's change. Yep. Back to the one. And again. To the five. Take it to the four. Back to the one. Again. And repeat. Okay. Now, what we're doing, we're hitting the one and then the two and. We're going one, two, and. One, two, and. One, two, and. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Whole song, that's what Jimmy's playing, okay? We're gonna throw some licks in during the vocal. Okay, so, and that's our 12 bars right there. So, let's get into the intro. We, we have that intro drum fill. Ta -ta 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 It's not even that long, I don't think. Um, and Jimmy, he's doing a lot of bends on this second string. In, in fact, a lot of the licks here on this second string off, off of the seven right here. And, uh, it, he just has that unique sound with his bends, how he really like uh, making love to it, you know? Okay, so check this out. First lick. Okay, we're going to bend it up and pull it off. Notice that's a pull off. So you have to work on that. I'm bending with these two fingers. And then I hit this little BB King. And then we're going to bend it again and put vibrato on the top. Okay, now another lick where we really make love to it. Okay, and then watch these pull-offs. You see that? Four, five, six. Kind of hesitate, and then up to the third string. Okay, bend and pull off. Slight bend on that third. Uh. Now watch this next lick. Funny timing as well. Okay. Slight bend there. Going to that fifth. This is a real B.B. King style lick, and you can really hear B.B.'s influence in Jimmy's playing there. Roll up to the third and bend, and then back to the root, and roll up to the fifth. Now watch this last thing. So that's like, that's like from an F chord shape. I'm covering three strings here. And we're going to just hammer our ring finger, keep it arched there, up strum this. Two, three. Now this last lick. Okay, you see that? Hesitate again and then start it here. Okay. Uh, more pull-offs. And then this same lick again. 
collapse down to a double stop. And then the... And then kind of hit that ninth chord. You can up strum it. Okay. Okay, let's try it from the beginning. Two, three, four. Now. That's it, okay? One more time, full speed. Two, three, four. Listen to this. That's a great lick. Start here on the fifth. Always, always giving a slight bend on this minor third, okay? In, in blues and rock playing. We almost never just hit it flat. We're walking back to that fifth. That's almost kind of like a Freddie King. Okay, so from the five. All I can do is hope and pray. Okay, second verse. Yeah, say it, stick with me, baby. Stick with me through thick then. I know someday, baby, my bad luck got it. And just wait on time, baby. I bet that one day. And then he does a lick here. Cool lick. Same notes, but it's abbreviated. Yes, until I get that baby, all I can do is hope and pray. And then he goes, once again, similar, but it's slightly different. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. And then we're into the solo. Okay, so. All I can do is hope and pray. Okay, and now we're into the solo. Once again, those same second string, a lot on the second string. Check this out. slow that down. So, start here. One of those other second string notes where he's uh, bends, where he's pulling it off. Uh. Vibrato. And then watch this. One of those licks where he's making love to it. First string and roll up. Okay. Hesitate, and then this lick. Great lick here. We're 
we're going to slide into the third here and then fall into our ninth chord. So. Again here, roll up to the root, and then double notes here, kind of like our F shape. All right. Slide into the second box. Once again, always a slight bend here, so. Hesitate. He's bending it up and then back down. And so. And then watch this. This is a great lick we use all the time. Pull off and slide. Double stop. the second box. Pull off. Uh. He's kind of getting double notes there. Back to the root. Pull off. Hesitate. And then he does this kind of out of time. Okay, so check this out. Bend and pull off. And then this same. Bend. And immediately. Okay, now. Is on the five. And then start again. So that goes. And then pull off here. And then kind of a Freddie King like. Roll up here. All right. Okay, so let's try the whole thing again, a little slowed down. One, two, three.
Okay, all right. So now we're into the third verse, so we're... Will you see a stick with me, babe? Stick with me through thick and thin. I know someday, baby, my bad luck gotta end. Just get on time, baby. I bet that one day. No lick here. Yes, until I get there, baby. All I can do is hope and pray. And then do this. That's that similar. Okay, fourth verse. Well, I live the life I love, and I love the life I live. The life I live, baby, you're all I have to give. Just get on time, baby. I'll be that one day. No lick again. Yes, until I get there, baby. All I can do is so bam, bam. And then. That's it. Okay, final verse. Yep, you just gotta wait on time, baby. Yep, just wait on time, baby. To the floor. Be good to me, baby. And then he goes. Great lick. And then roll it. Okay. Now to the five. Cause until I get the baby. So he hits that. And he does this cool kind of arpeggiated. Watch. See that? And we break, okay? Until I get the baby. All I can do is hope and pray. Now watch this ending lick. Okay, watch that first string. Slight bend, not a full bend. Pull it back and roll up. And slight bend. And then slide into that third. And drop into the ninth chord. All I can do is hope and pray. And that's it. Also, y'all, I wanted to mention a little about the tone that he's getting on this album. Now, he's playing, uh, he used to play a, a white uh, late 50s Telecaster, Maple Neck. And that's what he's using on this recording. He's probably playing, you know, a super reverb or something like that. Um, however, actually, you know, there's really no reverb on this guitar. It's just totally dry. So I'm playing on my old Strat, but uh, I would suggest probably playing in the back pickup. I've, I've got my back pickup position here, but I've got my tone rolled back a little so it's not too bright. But I'm playing there. And then another trick to kind of get that Jimmy sound back then is playing back here closer to the, closer to the bridge or the or the back pickup. You can get that really woody tone. Okay, so that's my tip on getting that tone. And uh, no pedals, no reverb, no nothing. Just a tube amp. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. And leave me some comments down here. Let me know if you have any questions about the song or any comments or any other requests about some songs you'd like me to teach you here on the YouTubes. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you can get notifications every time I put out a new video. And come back and see me soon. Adios.